and I did it again. You did it again. I okay. feel like you're doing it on purpose this I'm, time. I'm not. You're not. But... 15 parts in, and you're not. Ooh, get on, Mario. Guys, if it looks a little different, it's because we saved you guys some time, and we did only the coolest shit first. <laughs> So, now you get to watch us do all the boring shit. Did I put whiskey in this? I, um, it smells like it. Not enough. <laughs> More whiskey goes into the bottle. Or into the cup. Into the cup. Out of Fair the bottle, enough. into the cup. Where are we going, Ben? We're gonna make Mario. Wow! I can't wait! I love the sarcasm in your voice with that. I, I'll try to make it. Okay. I'll try my best. Says Mario. Oh, oh fuck. Now we've really fucked up. Well, he, oh. has, he has blue eyes. He has the Bowser buck teeth as well. No, no, but he has blue or eyes. the Goomba buck teeth. No, Ben, that's not right. No, Ben, no. <laughs> that's not Mario. It's oh, not? Oh, Ben, you silly guy. That's not him <laughs> at all. Jack and I were talking about this off screen, about how, like, silly is not, uh... Like, you can't seem, like, super strong and you tough. Can't, like, you can't... When someone's yelling at you saying something is silly, you can't take them serious. Ben, no! That's not it! What are you talking about? Oh, Ben... Really? Does that <laughs> really? All right, that's just ridiculous. But yeah, no, you, you can't be like, like you're fucking silly. Like you can't say half that. The, like half the fun of this is just creating a fucked up Morrow. See what kind of let, let's see. How did I do, Toad? All done. Like, I'm need, done. You need sixty points or more to win. Oh, <laughs> ben, oh no. my god! You had you no got points. <laughs> Oh, I, all right. Uh, oh my God, fine. he looks like a South Park character. <laughs> I'll try to make Mario again. Fine, I'll really make Mario this time. I. Why do I not believe you at all? Okay. Um. Okay, I think you want like. Yeah, like right there, probably. Right yeah, that's probably good. And you can get the other one. And make that one like. Yeah, like right there. Right here should be good. And he's got the blue eyes. He's kind of a fucked up mess. Kind of a fucked up mess. Just kinda. Hmm, that's a little high, but I think it could work still. Or low, rather. I think that eye was a little low, but I think it's okay. That that might be good. Mm, yeah. Oh, don't forget the nose. You gotta get the nose. Oh, yeah. Because that'll, that'll help you. That'll help you a lot with uh, distinguishing where everything else goes. Yeah, like, put it, yeah, about right there. That's probably good. And then we can throw that mustache on. Everybody needs a mustache. Mustache. You don't have a mustache. Yeah, but everybody needs a mustache. I'm the only one in this room with a mustache. Yeah, but everybody needs a mustache. It's it's close. It's getting there. Well, I, we'll see how, how this goes. Uh, it's not going to go great. Not at all. Actually, it's going to look like... Oh, dude, that's way too high. That's way too high. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's going to look fucking weird. Now. <laughs> Check this out. Look. Please. This it's going to look so this. fucking weird. Actually, that look, looks look that's 73 points. How, that should be a little bit more than 73 points. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. You that looks me. like it's Mario 64. Mario. Yeah, it's Mario 64. Like, all right. Now I have to do the hard Oh, we one. have to do it again? Yeah. Can you what? Do it? Why? Can you do it better? I think I can do it. Wait, how much do you okay. have to get for 80. this one? You have to get 80? Okay. Fuck, I... man. All right, all right, all right. That's... Okay, just let's memorize where everything goes. Nope. Nope. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it live. Oh. Oh, it goes away. Oh. And it goes roughly here. Roughly the there. Nose. Roughly there. Oh, fuck. It doesn't come back? No. Oh, fuck off. That's the worst. Roughly, stash. yeah, that's pretty close. It's pretty close. Ooh, I think he might have wanted to go a little bit more to the left with that mustache, but that's okay. That's probably good. Probably right there. Right there. Okay. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. 
here we go. Here Where my go. this is the true artist. Uh test. go go to the left a little more. Here. Yeah, probably there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I think that's on top of the mustache personally. Mm, I don't think so. Jack, why didn't you say something before you put it down? Because why would I? Fuck you. <laughs> Do you not right. want Mario to make Mario? No, not really. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, then. Okay, then the eyebrows. Oh, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like, yeah. It looks like Snoopy. <laughs> Do you see it? Uh, like an animal like like the this fist right here is his mouth. He's I see looking more up. like a really fat Yoshi praying. Okay, I see that. Like it's really fat Yoshi praying. Oh, have I told you guys? I'm taking this Eastern Religions course, and they gave me this uh, Rorschach, mm -hmm. and I had to like take it. And basically, if you're a religious person, you see a cow inside oh, this Rorschach. Eighty points. I have yet to see a fucking cow. Aw, oh, dude. What, what was different about that? He got 84 Passed. points. You got 84? Yeah. What Holy was shit. Different? Stellar Mario. Holy what shit. What was the difference there to me, though? I don't know. I, I like, it looks... It, the other it, one looked better. Yeah, I was going to say, I think this the other one, one looks, really does look better. This um, one, this one looks like great. Mario has a lazy eye. This one, the eyes are actually... Yeah, the eyes are closer to where they and actually The eyes and the eyebrows are... I think the nose, the nose and the mustache is really done well, though. But I think the same thing for the last one, too. So, what did you see with the Rorschach? Oh, well, I that's the thing. is I don't see anything with this Rorschach. So, like, I literally just see a blob. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's an ink blot to me. And But, like, apparently if you're a very spiritual person, you'll see the cow. You'll see the cow. Yeah, you'll see the cow. Every time in the that picture. in the in the Rorschach, you'll see mm. the cow. Every time that you look at this Rorschach, you'll see the cow. That's I've yet not, to see it. Yeah, that's definitely not placebo. <laughs> I've yet to see this cow. I'm still like I look back at this fucking picture because I've been in Eastern religions for a while now, and I've been steady like looking at this fucking cow. It's not there. There is no fucking cow. But everybody else in the room is like, oh yeah, I see the cow. No, you don't see the fucking cow. There's no goddamn cow. It's a fucking ink blot. I've never seen a cow with a bulbous fucking horn. It's not a thing. Oh, shit. Speaking of big ass cows. Big ass cow. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there was this um, cow that was found in Australia. Mm -hmm. Do you know about this? No. Uh, this cow is as tall as Michael Jordan when it's standing on all four hooves. It is as tall as Michael Jordan. Uh-huh. And weighs about as much as a small car. Oh, oh I've seen super tall cows like that. Yeah. No, you have not seen I a mean, super tall not, cow like this. I've seen a really tall cow before. Yeah. I went to this, like... I right... looked at this photo that Jack is about to show you. I thought it was Photoshop. Jack, if we could put this up on I the will. screen. Okay, let me see this cow. This... Hold on. I'll Jack is know. pulling it up right now. At the same time that he shows you, he's going to show the audience. This, I saw this cow and I immediately went, that's not real, that's photoshopped. And then Jack proved to me it was not photoshopped. And I went, holy fuck, that's a real cow. That's how it went down. That is how it went down. Like, Earlier word today. for word, actually, that's exactly how it went down. Wait, so there's six? Are there six of them? Yeah, yeah six Shit. sheep. Fuck, dude. Why do they all have little sombreros? That way you can't. Yeah, that way you know had you can't him. possess them. Oh, wait. So you can't knock the sombrero off. No, nope. nope. but you can knock the other hats off. Yeah. What's special about the sombrero? Is it like a tinfoil hat where the government can't control you with it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude, fucking sweet. Also, where's that six sheep? I feel like it's in the woods here. I mean, you're probably right. Let's be real. Wow, dude, you have almost all the coins for the Mushroom Kingdom. Also, I always thought the Mushroom Kingdom was a lot bigger than this. It's really small. Um, well, I mean... This is like the Mario 64 Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, there's your sheep. I found them. Yeah, I mean, the Mushroom Kingdom isn't exactly... This is the first game that's, like, actually showing us, like, the entire world the Mushroom Kingdom exists in. Oh, yeah, I've seen massive cows like that. 
I'm not too shocked. You've it. seen a massive yeah. cow like that? I mean, it wasn't as fat as that one, but I went to this like drive-through zoo type thing once, and they had a cow. Are you Maybe talking not... about the Lazy Five Ranch? No. It was oh not... fuck! It was a different one. It was nicer <laughs> than the Lazy Five. Logan's Ranch. Logan's like, we have to go to Lazy Five right now. I want to go to Lazy Five. Ranch. <laughs> dude, I've been looking for people to go to Lazy Five oh, Ranch with me. Have you? Have you never been? Oh, I love it, dude. Oh, yeah. I haven't I, been I, for I love, years. Though. I'd love to go. I'll Hell go yeah, with dude! You if you want, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Let's go to Lazy Five Ranch. Let's get drunk and just walk around and fuck with ostriches. Oh my god. You can't actually walk around it, but... Dude, you can hop out. What are they going to do? Tell you, get back in the hayride. Like, fuck yes, off. Yes, they will. Oh, you do the hayride? I just drive through in my my car. Nah, dude, you got to get into the hayride because then you get those big... What are those big-ass antelopes called? You know um, what I'm talking about, right? The African antelope that, like, stands seven feet tall or something on four hooves. And it's like... Ibex? It's a, no, 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 no. It's not the ibex. The ibex are, like, an endangered species that are uh, gray. They look like oryx. But, um... The water buffalo? No, 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 no. the no, Destiny no. character. Wow. <laughs> wow, dude. the Destiny character. Way to bring it back. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I'm trying to think of... I, I'm going to find a picture. I'll send it to Jack, so maybe, like... Jack, you can decide whether or not you want to put this in. I, I'm, yeah, I have to save this picture before I forget about it. That's Because this is going to come out, like, a month and a half later. Than oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm, I'm going to find... I'm, I'm looking it up right now so I can show you, um... I'm just gonna go onto Google and type in "big ass antelope." Also, this thing is um, 194 centimeters tall. How many is that in inches? I uh, because that doesn't sound big. Like 194 does not sound big for centimeters, because centimeters are kind of small. 30 centimeters in a foot, right? I don't remember centimeters, honestly. I should, but I don't. Oh, Hentart, my favorite. Hentart? You mean Hentai? Yeah. No. Hentart. Hentart is one of the few things in this game might be the, that bring it down. It might be a bongo antelope is what I'm talking about. Hang on, let me let me look up this real quick. Bongo antelopes. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is the thing that I was talking about. Like... So, like, they're just these big-ass oh, fucking... those things. Yeah, they're, like, these big-ass fucking striped uh, antelope motherfuckers from Africa. But uh, they're fucking cool as shit. Because, like, they stand, like, they're almost like that deer that you showed, Jack, where they, like, they're big as fuck, but they're just all naturally cow. big. Cow. Yeah, you're right. You showed a cow. Also, this cow is six foot four. Yeah, like, these things stand, on, like... On, on four hooves. On four hooves, yeah, yeah. No, like, the, the antelope that I was showing uh, Ben there, the bongo antelope, it's like seven feet standing on four. But, it, I mean, it's an African an uh, animal, so, I mean, they're naturally supposed to be big. A cow is not supposed to be six foot four. <laughs> like, that's the fucking weird shit to me. Where's this fucking tile? Where's this fucking what? Tile. This is one of the weirdest moons in the game. It's a tile? Yeah, because you got to find a tile that is kind of sticking out of the ground so you have to have this weird camera angle i'm having a hard time with this one <laughs> wow dude that toad that <laughs> toad going <"Whoa!" laughs> was probably is. the greatest thing i've heard seven. seven it's the seventh one i've done how many do you need eight i think there's oh there's one yeah oh there it is yeah you found the star do -do 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 -do. Loose tile track down. So the other day, uh, Jack and I were actually watching like videos of uh, animals doing crazy ass shit. Are you mm. familiar with Wolverines? Like the animal, yeah. not like the X-Men character? Yeah. Dude, we were watching a video of fucking uh, Wolverine that just was like, fuck this elk, I'm gonna take this elk down by myself. And he just hopped onto the fucking neck. And, and like, just grabbed it by the neck and like flipped it over. Yeah, and like the, oh, they were just so spinning in circles and like the elk kept like throwing it off but like the wolverine would like fly like five feet and then he'd like run back over and like latch onto its fucking neck and shit. He was so fucked up. And he punked the shit out of a black bear. I achieved world peace according to that moon. Holy just fuck, dude. Just that out there. <laughs> Um, oh my you God. did it, dude! Oh you... yeah, I remember this. These are like achievements in the game. You yeah, achieved this the world peace. This, this sucks because you just have to sit here talking to Toadette until she gives you all the moons you've earned from her so far, and it can take forever. <clears throat> Wait, how do you flat moon finder? Wait, flat Earth? Yes. Did she confirm? No. You confirmed. How many moons are there here? A lot. Like in Mushroom Kingdom. Um. Oh. 
I'll check after. I nope, collecting Because I know that you need 500 for the dark side. I, I get that, but... Yeah. Or the darker side. I think we already have the dark side. I think the dark side's 250 moons to get to. Oh, we don't. Wait, there's a dark side and a darker side? The dark side, side is like a boss, a boss rush, and then the darker side is like the hardest level in the game, basically. <laughs> Do we want to, like... Pass controllers during dark side to see if Logan. Absolutely <laughs> not, dude. Do you know how <laughs> fucked up that would be? Especially if we do it in this session. This is like my third fucking take of uh, fucking. Dude, whiskey. you're better at video games when you're drunk. Let's be real. Uh, well, yeah. or you know, with alcohol in you. Alcohol in me, yes. Um, rad Hatter. The Rad Hatter. You have <laughs> a bunch of hats. Ugh. Oh all right, God. she's all done. No, nope. she's not. Nope, she's not. Wearing right, it. Sorry. Well. Excuse me for believing it was all over. It's it, Logan. It... Wearing it great. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, you were not kidding. This is a <laughs> lot of fucking moons. I'm not even going to get half of these probably from her right now, too. Like, this, there's a shit ton of Toadette moons. Oh my god. <sighs> Souvenirs. So How many moons can you hold on to before you have to start, like... I don't think there's a limit. You don't have to, like, bank them. Yeah. Oh, you don't? Okay. No. I'm gonna see how Cause like this is like almost looks like it's gonna go down to the bottom of the fucking screen. I'm gonna see screen. how far I can make this go, honestly. Cause I know I can take uh, painting to. Do, the... do we want to like actually put it in the thing, or do we just want to cut it at the end and be like, okay? <laughs> no, no, no. Keep it going. Keep I going. mean, we have to sit through this. So so does the audience. Oh my Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> quit getting star moons. I think it. Jesus Christ, Toadette, you don't have to... <laughs> How many did she already have? Where is she keeping these? Why didn't she just oh, go... Oh, it's done. All right, all right, Okay. All right. The, so, That's a lot. Yeah. That's a really fucking lot. So there are... Holy 104 fuck. ...104 total moons in the Hat Kingdom. We only have 34 so far. And um, out of that 104... We, we have, have 70 th left. Oh, we my God. We have 34. God. Like, 60 of the moons... Are Toadette moons. Holy shit. So more shit. than half the moons out of that 104 is Toadette moons. You said 60 more of them are? No, or 60, 60 in total. Out of 104, 104 moons in the Mushroom Kingdom, 60 of them are Toadette moons. Holy so 44 fuck. of them are not. Because we have 70 left in Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Yes. So, god damn, dude. Um, why does she not just go down? Like, why does she have to stay in the t uh, castle? I almost said temple. Why does she have to stay there? Why can't she just meet us at the Odyssey? Um, because that'd be too easy. No, it absolutely would not be too easy. Hey, that would be nut. the smartest thing. Dude, drop it. Still no not November when we record this. Oh my not God. for much longer. Not for much longer. Dude, I'm counting down. Have you really kept up with it? Of course! You have to! <laughs> you have to ascend, brother. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I did. I did not ask for Uganda knuckles to come out. Okay. <laughs> I know the way. Do you know the way, brother? Oh my god, dude! I can taste colors. It's that serious. It's not that serious. Okay, it might not be that serious, but it feels that serious. Is that why you haven't been sleeping recently? <laughs> it honestly might be, dude. Like, my balls fucking hurt. It's not healthy to go a whole month without this. I'm just saying. No. I mean, there's a reason why, like, like, jacking off helps you avoid, like, prostate cancer and shit. Oh, wait, does it really? Yeah. Yeah, because oh, it kind of cleans you out. Dude, what if, like, December 1st, and I get my have... first nut and I find out I have prostate cancer? Then you will never do No Nut November again. I won't be alive for it ever again. <laughs> You'll Isn't that what happens with prostate cancers? You fucking die? Not immediately. What were we talking about with cancer the other day? Oh yeah, my grandmother <laughs> died tiger. from uh, colon cancer. And on the drive back from her funeral, I was talking to my uncle. I was like, so how did she die? And he was like, oh, you know, well, she had colon cancer and she lost control of her bowels. And I was like, oh, wow, that's really sad. Does that, you know, is that the reason why she was like always crapping herself? He's like, yeah, you know, with colon cancer, you just kind of lose control of that sort of thing. I was like, so in a way... She had ass cancer. <laughs> and he wouldn't just be like, sure, Logan, that's... No, he, like, went on, like, a five-minute thing, like, yes, Logan, that's what it means. Your grandmother, who we just buried, had ass cancer. And the way he said it just made it funnier to me. But, like, 
he was just trying to make me feel like such a dick about pointing out the fact that my grandmother had ass cancer. Mm-hmm. And I just, I don't know. Like, Ben, your and, thoughts. And like clearly when, Logan didn't give a shit. No, like, okay. It's not that I didn't love my grandmother. Of course I did. But, like, for fuck's sake, man. Like, if it's kind of funny. If you die in a funny, if I die in a funny way, which is highly likely. <laughs> like, oh. I'm going to make fun. Like, if make I fun die. Me, please. Yeah, like, no, if I die in a super funny way, you motherfuckers better be at my goddamn funeral being like, I can't believe that guy drank all that Elmer's glue. Like, <laughs> like I really, I want you to. You what a better. fucking legend. What a fucking unit, the absolute <laughs> madman, to have gone through and stapled his nutsack to a tiger. Like, <laughs> like I want you to tell like tell my that's, story that's how gladly. Steve-O's going out. Steve-O is not going out. Like that. He's actually an activist now. Yeah, I believe that. Like, he, uh, he's in South America saving stray dogs. Good for him. Like, he's, he's totally different. But he has gone a long way from having his nipple bit by an alligator. Or a leech put on his eye. Or a leech put on his eyeball, yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, man, I love jackass movies. I could not make it through it. Once they're like, we're going to put this leech on steve eyeball, I was like, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> oh, did you see the one where, uh, who was it? It was uh, Chris Pontinus. It was, uh, he uh, dressed up his penis as a mouse, and then he put it oh, into yeah. an enclosure with the fucking snake, Wait. and the snake chomped his dick, and it's like, he's just standing there at the camera looking like... <laughs> The entire time, like, he wasn't screaming. <laughs> it was just, it was funny as shit. Oh, I think my man. favorite one that I made it to was, like, Bam Margera was like, I had this fantastic idea where we get a fat guy and attach a bungee cord to him and, and the, like, midget dude and Jackass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Wee like, Man, yeah. And, like, uh, what was it? The midget dude jumped and was like, let's see if the fat guy can stand. But the fat guy just fell, so it happened. Like, there's this effect where, like, the fat guy literally, like... <sighs> The midget dude was pulled up, but at the same time, the fat guy fell down. So as the fat guy fell down, he dragged the midget dude down oh, even harder shit. and just slammed him into the water. Oh, like, like fuck. Oh, it was yeah. the human bungee jumping. Yeah, the human bungee jumping. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh. that was... My favorite thing with Bam Margera is all the shit that he used to pull on his mom and uh, dad. Where uh, he brought a live alligator into the, his parents' kitchen and just put it there because his mom was like, "Bam, bam, bam! What are you doing?" <laughs> this is the funniest shit. Like I was like, "Oh, I wish I could do that to my mom without dying." Uh, Your mom wouldn't kill you. My mom would probably want to kill me. She would want to and she would try, but she, she wouldn't. I'm bigger. She would so. want to and try. Okay. She would want to and try, but I am bigger now, so I feel like I could I could take it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was editing one of the uh, Odyssey videos, and it was like one where Ben just fucking went off. Um, and it was like something about your sisters, and you're like, I, you can't get that shit on me again. I'm bigger. I'm 22 now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that in one of the earlier episodes of this. You did say some shit like that, because you talked that mad-ish, boy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's what you, you know, do. Oh, there's some fucking yeah. you know, shit. Man. I'm sure the context was like, one sister skinned half my face off, and the other one broke my femur bone. And it's like, no. you can't pull that shit on me anymore. Holy no, shit, it, dude. It one broke your femur? Like yeah, when I was, I think I was two or three, she threw me into a couch frame, Holy and it fuck, broke dude. my femur bone. I'm going to get those after I do this. I was going to say, like, do you want to just go impress that bitch? What? He's got to go take all these oh, guys to impress. impress that. Yeah, he's got to impress I that I heard bitch. you want to go press that bitch. Oh, yeah, we're going to bench press that <laughs> bitch. All 100 pounds of her. Wow, she's a twig. What is she, like, <laughs> sixth grader? <laughs> like, fuck off. Aw, oh, dude, you're not big enough. God damn it. You need, like, one more. Let's that's go. so fucked up, though, that the female Goomba only cares about height. Yeah. Like, that's really fucked up. <laughs> if you're really... not six feet or taller, I don't give a fuck. I mean, if you can't dunk a basketball standing up with your dick out, then why would we even fuck? Goombas are shaped <laughs> like dicks, so I guess it makes sense that the um, length is something to Mr. do with Mr. Goomba. Oh. oh, dude, you got the. <laughs> sick oh, up, dude, bro. you got that sick up. Oh, no, uh, right. that's definitely enough. That's Come definitely on, six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Full on lady boner coming our way, dude. You ever seen that one uh, meme of the uh, white girl on the couch with like the six black guys right behind her? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. 
I'm trying to remember. Was so, someone used that for something recently, and I'm trying to remember what it was. I cannot believe, dude. I can't. How many believe. more of those are left? Or is that the last one? Of the horny Goomba girls? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know which ones. I I think I missed. Uh, You're promoting a, Goomba breeding, really? I missed at really. least a couple. I know. <laughs> I don't think I did the Wooded Kingdom one. Or I don't know if the Wood Kingdom one. Oh goddamn! Oh shit! All right. It's the Thunder Lord. It's the Thunder Lord. Yes. What would, what did we decide his name was? I don't even remember what we decided. Uh, it Alduin. was it was what? Yeah, Alduin. Alduin from Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fuck, dude. He's still like the coolest fucking villain, even if he's the fucking easiest. I wouldn't say he's the easiest. I think he he, ben, he is at least top two easiest. I don't know. I mean, I, I would still say that the tutorial. Uh, well, yeah, Fetus any of tutorial. God is the easiest. I mean, I don't count the fetus of God as like a real boss. She's just the fetus. Of yeah, God. I, I consider her like a mini boss. We had to yeet us that fetus at one. So time. is Olmec the easiest boss? Um, I mean, no. The I Legends of the Hidden Temple would the, say the yes. only one who I think is anywhere near. I mean, Bowser might be easier than this, but that's the only one that I would consider. Um, Bowser. Comparable to how easy this boss like is. Like the Bowser we just fought or the Bowser? Any of the Bowsers. Oh, really? Just I mean, Bowser in general? Bowser's shit in this game. <laughs> wow, dude. Way to talk about Fucking our Lord and out. Savior life that. Like, Fucking damn. called out. Okay, who's an easier boss just in general? Bowser in the series of Mario or Ganondorf in the series of Legend of Zelda? Bowser in the series of Mario. He's easier? Yeah, they the Ganondorf stuff is hard. I really? mean, yeah, Zelda actually the only is one a that it's not. Game. Like, yeah, the only the Mario only game. Ganondorf that's really not, and you can even so I we can even argue this isn't really Ganondorf, but uh, the Breath of the Wild. No, that's uh, Calamity Ganon. That's that's canon. I mean, Ganondorf isn't Ganondorf is only in um, Ocarina of Time. So you're just saying Ganon in general? Yeah, I just I mean I, more I know mean I know Ganon Ganondorf's in also in Twilight Princess, but um, and Wind Waker. It, oh yeah, he is in Wind Waker. Ganon is the main thing, basically. Yeah, so you're talking about the main thing. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. So when then, I say Ganondorf, I mean Ganon as Ganon a whole. Spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a wide spectrum to Ganon. But yeah, sure, yeah. So I I would say that Calamity Ganon, if you do the game the way the game's supposed to be, mm -hmm. that's probably the easiest one of the easiest video game boss fights of all time. Well, right, but you even said, like, in our uh, run-through of it that you could easily just walk to Hyrule Castle and try to fight him right then and there. You could. That's absolutely right. Once you get down to the tutorial, you can just go do that. Yeah, but, I mean... You get the quest right then and there to defeat Ganon. Yeah. You'd probably lose that one, though. I don't know, man. I feel like there are some good-ass gamers out there who could fucking do it. I guess. I, myself, would probably lose that one. I mean, I know I would lose that one, but there's, like, that one guy out there who's like, I got this. I got this. Well, have you seen, like, what it is? Like, when you go there without... Um, just go straight there after getting it? No. It's How many weapons do you need, I bet? Like... Because, I okay, without well, Amiibos... Well, let, let me let me explain what this boss fight is. All right. So it's Calamity Ganon at full health, and all of the Blights at full health, in that oh. one room all at once. Oh, so you have to fight Stardust Nova oh, yeah. Scotias. Again, yeah. Oh, fuck. It, you have to fight them all at some point. It's whether you go straight in or take them off one by one. Oh, fuck, dude. Hey, we're back in New Dawn? Oh, you're doing that boss rush. Now there's no. This isn't necessarily that. This boss is a rush. different boss rush, kind of. Oh. The other this boss is... rush is all the rabbits on the moon. This oh. is the motherfucking oh, rematch. Big. Yeah, didn't you take a hit in this? And you were like, I would be an idiot if I took a hit in this. No, I didn't take a hit from this shit. He took a hit in this boss fight, but it wasn't what he was talking about. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, this shit's easy. Um. But not as easy as the dragon, apparently. Nothing's easy as the dragon. Alduin, even in Skyrim, Alduin was a bitch. Let's be real. Aw, oh, dude, you fucking took that hit, though. I never got to Alduin in Skyrim. Really? Really. Oh, yeah, no, I fucking... Okay, so, like, I did all the main story stuff as quick as I possibly could. Because I knew that... I played Skyrim for, like, an hour, and I was like, I really felt like I just did nothing. Yeah. I did I mean... quests, but I felt like I just didn't do anything. The sure. first, like, hour or two of Skyrim is pretty, um, y you know, you're just basically learning how to play the game. And yeah. Getting the basics. After you get past that, like, the game is, like, 
Breath of the Wild kind of, where you just do whatever the fuck. Oh, uh, dude, I was the Chad uh, Thundercock of fucking Skyrim. <laughs> I was an orc race. I was fucking just. I was doing some crazy ass shit. I was shit. a lizard person when I played Skyrim. I don't even remember. I remember the cats were Khajiit. I don't remember what the lizard people were. I don't remember. Uh, what were you when you played Skyrim? Um, were you a human? I think I was a Khajiit. Khajiit. Khajiit has many wares to sell. That's all I really know about the Khajiit. Are you excited for the, the Elder Scrolls, what is it, 6 or 7? Uh, Elder Scrolls 6, yeah. Because 5 was Skyrim. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. 4 yeah. is Oblivion. Yeah, um, Elder Scrolls uh, 6 was announced pretty much at the end of E3. Yeah, they had like a little teaser trailer for it. It was pretty cool. I'm all for it, you know? Shit. Dude, you're going to get fucking killed. Speaking of teasers, um... Are either of you guys familiar, familiar with the book series Artemis Fowl? I am, but I don't know why. Ben? I have no idea what that is. Artemis Fowl is a series of fiction novels um, that were kind of like young adult novels about a like 13-year-old kid who hunt, hunted down and killed um, like mythical creatures. I, I knew I knew what Artemis Fowl was, but I was like, I don't know why I know this. Do you know why mm -hmm. I'm bringing it up? Because they're making a movie of this. They're, Disney is making an Artemis Fowl movie. Yeah. No, so here's and the I thing. And I am so excited. I read, uh, I don't know if Fuck. I read all of them. I read at least Shit. one of the Artemis Fowl books. I couldn't tell you There's which like one. There's like eight of them. I, I knew there were a lot. I knew it's like the Lemony Snicket books. But There's like eight of them. I, I, yeah, we have some of them here. Yeah. But you're not a, you're not as big into fiction anymore. It's not that I'm big, not big into fiction. It's got to be a certain. Kind. You just more prefer nonfiction. Yeah, it's like. Did you ever finish the Barack Obama book? I'm still reading through the Audacity of Hope by Barack Obama. I have a hundred more pages to go through. I thought I was almost done, and then I realized he has an epilogue that's like fifty pages. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, God. fuck off! That's a hell of an epilogue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, he takes forever to fucking write. I mean, like, I mean, he takes forever to talk too. Yeah, he takes, <laughs> he's got a lot, a lot of uh, long Dude, pauses. It's a face. In it. Did you guys see that? Was it really? It was like the the two pink things in the purple vortex made a face. That's fucking sweet. It kind of looked like. Did you ever see the Jimmy Neutron movie? Yes. Kind of looked like the face of like the green aliens from the Jimmy Neutron movie. Oh, what were those called? The Goose. Yeah. I don't even know if that's really right. I don't know if that's actually what they were called or not. I just remember they worshipped like a giant chicken. Yes, and they did the chicken dance mm -hmm. during the Jimmy Neutron movie. Ben, sure. your thoughts? Did you I, ever see the Jimmy Neutron movie? I might have, but I don't remember it at all. We're the kids in America. Whoa! We're the kids in America. Whoa! And that's all I really know of that song, but I know that that song was played during it. Fascinating. You're welcome. <laughs> Ben, how are you doing with this guy? I'm doing better this time. That's good. Uh, mm -hmm. Hand me that other cable you were using. Just like the whole cable. Oh. Alright. Okay. Yeah, no, you have to you have to spam it now. Aw, oh, dude, yeah. yeah, you fucking killed his go. shit. That was, that was easy. I don't know why I failed the first time. Well, next time. Next, next time. time. Next time you'll do something with these moons. No. Probably not, right? I'm going to go as far as I can without depositing moons. I'm going to see what if I can fill the whole screen. That's my that's my goal. That's your plan? That's my goal here. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.